So this is a beauty day. Sun's up there. A lot more snow here. I was here two days ago. A lot more snow here. I just finished everything up and I don't have a place to put my chargers for the winter inside so I just set them on top of a couple hives here and and turned them off. And so they're close to the front of the hive so if the hive gets buried, hopefully that solar panel will still stay above the uh, snow and, and you know, just keep the batteries maintained. But I'm really surprised this today, uh, coming here, these girls are they're pretty busy for this time of year. Um, I just... Uh, Got everybody ready. I just, there's some of these, there's maybe three, two or three of them. I think there's only two that I pulled off uh, jars that I had on and they hadn't even touched them. They had been on here for a few, couple weeks, so they must not have needed it. But I just, I just took them and poured them into this feeder. I didn't think the bees would come out again this year, to be honest with you. And, uh, they're just in here. There's not much in here. There's just parts of two jars that I just, instead of dumping it on the ground because it ends up stinking, um, I decided to dump it in there in case they had a chance like this. And they won't take in much into each hive, so it won't cause huge moisture problems or anything. Right? So, um... Anyways, they have them all wrapped up. Some of these aren't, they look like doubles. These three right here, they all look like doubles, but really they're a single. With styrofoam on top of the inner cover, and then an empty box on top. Um, and then I just shove a stick down through the front. And they come out, come out the top vent and... Uh, come out in the winter time they'll be able to walk in behind the, the cover uh, walk around on the front of the hive uh, without it being getting too much wind you know so you know I'm, I'm trying all different types of things um, these four here they're all double or no that one's not a double that's a single foot um, these are all doubles, wrapped the same way as I've always wrapped. Put a screw down underneath the top entrance. Put a screw at the bottom to hold the cover up. And I block off a lot of the entrance. I leave usually three or four inches. Uh, you know, some of them I'll leave a little bit more. That one's like half the entrance is open. But um, I don't go with the whole wire thing or... or I don't cut, break them down to a couple inches. These guys have something in their entrance right here. And what it is, is what's left of a an acid pad. They'll take those and they'll move them right out the front door if you don't get them out. But I just don't want it. <clears throat> Plugging the entrance, I, I did remove most of those pads. They've all been thrown out and... Anyways, then I'm doing some other different things. So I've seen people say something like this, and they don't, they just block in. I didn't <clears throat> leave, there is an upper entrance behind this wrap, but I just didn't leave it open or anything. I just put the wrap right on the box. And then I actually started with an entrance reducer, and then I decided to open it up. So, full open bottom entrance but no top vent so there's gonna be no chimney effect much or if at all so I'm trying it I've never done this before <laughs> so I've always vented the top and uh, discouraging over winters like last winter wasn't great so and I can't, on a single, that upper 
entrance, I can't see that being as important. Uh, the doubles, yeah, the, there's going to be a lot trapped up in the top, but just with a single box, only 10 inches deep. If they have that full bottom open, um, the air should, I would say, circulate in there enough. We'll see. You know, every friggin' year I try something new, right? And it's just, I don't know why. <laughs> Other years of work for me doing it my old way, but I just, you know, I gotta try something different. This here, I've never done this before either. So this is a bank of four five frame nukes. Um, I've put this silver board, uh, I think it's 7.5. Our value of 7.5. I put it on the bottom, on the front, sides, back, and top. And then I covered it with this waterproof membrane on the top uh, just to shed the help shed the water. You know, they weren't strong enough to go through as a single. I felt bad shaking them out because there was like, there was like, four or five frames of bees which isn't enough to get through winter in a single but so I just squished them down into a smaller area put as much honey in there as possible and we'll see you know it's either that or shake them out on the ground or try and add them together late in the year which doesn't usually work um so just trying something a little bit different and again I have two <coughs> two of these most all, all my wraps I believe all my wraps I put on so far are Hogan's which are just uh, they're like a bee cozy except they don't have insulation in them they just have a bubble wrap in between the uh, the plastic so and then I have I have two of these I think they're pretty cool um, they're just a sleeve that pulls down over top and then the top zippers so the top has you know a slight pad in it as well and it zippers and then I've put an inch of styrofoam on top there um, now I don't think they're made for that I think they're made to put no insulation inside the wrap um, because it brings the wrap up a little bit on the bottom here as you can see it would be nicer if that was down but then I would I feel more comfortable having that piece of insulation in there but I could have maybe pulled it down put the insulation on top but you know it just just try and shit out you know nothing's nothing's perfect they won't all come through winter and trying all these funny little things you never know so girls are busy definitely don't see any pollen this time <laughs> I was surprised how late we had pollen too these girls will go in there and pluck a little bit like I say there's not much here for them um, just what was left over in a couple jars and it's just so I don't have to dump it on the ground. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 3, 24, 5, 6, 7, 28, 28 hives and 4 5-frame nuke boxes. So 28 and 4, 32. I got 32 here. Um, hopefully they'll all come through winter we've had fantastic winters and then we've had some that just a bit like last year where you get to May and you think you're doing okay and then all of a sudden you have a fucking heart attack that's what I did <laughs> I'm not blaming my bees for my heart attack though I <laughs> uh, think it was pretty much uh just a generic problem in our family that we have. 
but you know be nice to be able to blame something not be my own fault you know but uh, anyway I'm gonna get up in the truck take a good look at these girls and then I'm gonna take a picture from up here got to remember the numbers that's the only reason I'm here I forgot to count them the other day so I gotta get my registration in that's that's this yard. I, I have one more yard to wrap. I'm just about done. Got the other ones all wrapped up. Anyway, that's one thing I'm doing today, running around doing this and wrapping up some more hives. <laughs> 